Welcome back to this creative space. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to process and reflect on your day visually through art. This therapeutic art exercise followed by a specific reflective writing component can help us create a sense of closure to our day with some level of self-awareness. You can make this into a short exercise that you can do as a ritual at night, or you can also go a little deeper and spend more time on it at your own pace. All we need for this activity is any kind of drawing materials like color pencils, pencils, pen, oil pastels, markers, and so on. Today, I decided to use what I usually have around me, color pencils. And as an option, you can also use watercolor to add some soothing component to your art making. We will also need paper. I'm using 8 by 12 inch paper. You can really use your journal or your sketchbook as well. Just note that the larger the paper, the more space you have to express yourself. Before we begin, let's ground ourselves in our seats. Ground our feet to the ground. Lengthen your spine to circulate your energy in your body. And let's do some deep breathing here. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, release any tension in your body, any thoughts that are lingering right now. Let's set an intention for this activity to allow yourself to fully express yourself non-judgmentally with self-compassion. When you're ready, I invite you to begin by placing yourself somewhere on the paper. Now, for this exercise, you can choose to use doodles, you can use symbols, you can simply use colors and forms if you want. Some people choose to use words. So do what works for you, what feels natural for you to draw out your day, to represent your day. Today, I'm feeling like using some doodle-like drawings to express in a fun way. I used to draw like this when I was younger and I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flow with that. So when you're somewhere on the paper, You can spontaneously start drawing or placing aspects of your day on the paper. You could work chronologically from morning to evening, the end of the day, or you can simply flow with what comes to your mind as you go. These aspects of your day can include things like activities that you engaged in, things that you did. As you draw and tune into these moments of your day, You can also pay attention to what emotional state you are in in certain parts of your day or even certain thoughts that you held in that moment. Just notice it, become aware of it without needing to judge it or label it in any way. So what we're really doing here is to take a moment to tune into your day and express it observe it as it comes so there's no need to resolve anything there's no need to ruminate over it or fix anything we're just letting it be as it comes out in your drawing you can also reflect on moments of your day when you weren't active or engaged in anything in particular For example, that one minute that you took to pet your dog or when you took a moment to look out the window or when you thought about calling a friend and you didn't. Some of these seemingly unimportant moments in our days can affect us on some level emotionally and mentally. As you finish up, take a moment to look at your art and see if you feel that your art needs anything. For me, I feel like adding some fluidity to the art using some watercolor to somehow bring the images together. So I will go ahead and do that. I encourage you to ask yourself, ask your art. And again, one way to do that is to just take a moment to observe the art. At times, parts of your day that you had forgotten about may come back to you as you draw. You might notice certain aspects of your day you thought didn't really hold much meaning or value being a little bit more important or valuable than you thought. 
I feel that this is what's very powerful about art is that when we process our stories visually, insights can come to us, not necessarily from our logic, our left brain way of thinking, but in a more intuitive way, intuitive knowing through emotions and inner wisdom. When you feel completed with your art, I encourage you to take a step back and just take a few seconds, a moment, to look at your art without needing to judge it or label it in any way, just as it is. And when you're ready, we can begin the reflective process on the following questions on your journal, on your notebook, whatever you have available. As the first question, I invite you to reflect and write about what you see in the image. What stands out to you in the image? What do you notice? The second question is, what feeling, what impression do you get from viewing your art as a whole? Try to come up with at least one word to describe the impression, the feeling that you get from your art. If you want to elaborate on it, you can go ahead and explore that through the writing. Number three, I invite you to give your art a title, anything that comes to mind at the moment. Giving your art a title can be a way of creating meaning or giving it a sense of closure. Now this last one is an optional question. This can help you reflect on areas to balance in your day, in your life, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So the first area of balance that you can reflect on is how much of your day was spent doing versus being. So doing meaning when your mind is focused on the task-oriented mindset, like achieving something, completing something. Being, on the other hand, is when your mind is more focused on the process and your presence, your awareness during the task. For example, you might be cooking a meal, but if you're in a state of doing, we're really focused on just completing it and may not be very much in the present moment. But if you were in a state of being, you're really focused on being present with it, present with the process, which oftentimes it helps us find inner peace and meaning. Now the second area to reflect on is on how much of your day was spent alone versus with others so alone can mean physically alone but more specifically is when you're alone with your own awareness even though you're alone physically at your house for example you're not tuned into your phone computer and news you're really tuned into whatever it is that you're doing in that moment with yourself now when you're with others yes it could be physically being with others but it can also mean others as in things that draws your attention, draw your energy outwards and inwards, like social media, scrolling through Instagram. So you can take this moment to reflect on where you are at in terms of the balance between alone versus with others. The last area to reflect on is how much of your day was of high vibrational emotions versus low vibration emotions. And if you're not familiar with this term, it simply means that each emotion has its own energy level. And I will put a link to an emotional guidance scale that you can look at in the description below, which can give you an idea of what kind of emotions is a higher energy emotion and what kind of emotion is lower vibration emotion. So it's not about an emotion being good or bad, but this is about bringing awareness to where we tend to be at emotionally throughout our days. So you can process some of these through writing at your own pace. Thank you for tuning into this video. For more videos like this, definitely subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time and love and light your way.